All right, everybody, this is Killer Arcade Games. I'm Chris. I'm going to show you how to install and set up LaunchBox for MAME. This is a very simple tutorial. If you have a bunch of different consoles you want to add to it, I don't really know how to do that. I can tell you how to set up and make MAME work with LaunchBox and BigBox. So here we go. First, you got to go get your LaunchBox set up. Go ahead and run that. Accept the agreement, of course. Click Next. Um, I don't really care where mine installs personally, so I'm actually, you know what, I am going to move it to the C drive. That's because I have my MAME folder on the C drive. It really doesn't matter where you put it as long as you know where to find it if you need it. Let's do that. Uh, we definitely want a start menu icon. I would like a desktop icon, so I am going to check this box here. Click next and click install. Let's just wait and see. All right, so it's probably gonna ask you this. Uh, sure, why not? It's what it always asks you, so don't panic on that one. And I am using Windows 10, if you can't tell already. Here we go. So LaunchBox is booting up for the first time, and we can go into the setup. All right, so once LaunchBox starts for the very first time, it's gonna show you this. I'm actually gonna go ahead and click don't show this again for this version. I think it's annoying, close that. You're also gonna wanna just close this. I like to do it a little bit different, which would be to go up here and click tools. Once you go down there, click manage emulators. Here's where you're gonna add MAME to the emulators. Go ahead and click the add button right here. Emulator name, type in M A. Well, there you go, MAME is going to start popping up. Go ahead and click MAME. We've got it over here. I don't know why this is in the way, but we'll just move out of the way. <laughs> Down here, Emulator Application Path. This is where you're going to show the program where you installed MAME. In this case, I put mine on the C drive. Yours may be somewhere else. Either way, go to MAME, your MAME folder, that is. Go down to MAME64 or MAME, or just MAME. If you have MAME 32-bit, that's fine. It'll just say MAME. Whichever file you use to launch MAME with, click it and click open. So that's now showing where to launch MAME, MAME from. Let's see. I don't mess with any other options here. All I do is just click OK. From here, we can close that. Then we can go back to Tools. Scroll down to Import. Then you're going to select ROM files. Now this is a wizard, which is fine. We don't really have to worry about that. You're, the, you're going to be the wizard here. You're going to find your ROMs folder by clicking Add Folder. And again, in my case, I have it on the C drive. So that's going to be, I'm going to close that. Find your MAME folder. Scroll down till you see ROMs. Click ROMs. Click OK. Then you want to click Next. What platform are you importing the games for? Well, this is going to be for MAME, so I usually type in, in all caps, M-A-M-E, and go down here and click Next. Now choose Emulator, open the drop-down box, click MAME, click Next. Now in this one, would you like to move or copy the files? In my case, I have always just used the files in their location. I don't really want LaunchBox messing with them personally, so this is what I choose. Now here, would you like to download metadata for your games? I just leave this checked. So that's going to pull information about the games that you have ROMs for. Click Next. Here are all the different pieces of art and information it's going to try to find. I leave it all checked. I just click Next. You can go in and turn some stuff off if you'd like. I'd prefer just to leave it on and click Next. Here's where you need to sign into EMU Movies. EMU Movies is going to actually find video files that will play while you're hovering over each game that you're looking through. So if you want that, click Configure, and you need to enter, if you already have one, enter your user ID or password. If you don't already have one, just click this box to register. Uh, in this case, I'm going to go with Chrome, why not? I believe I am already registered, so I'm not going to show you this whole setup. Um, all you have to do is basically go in, click the sign up button right there on the website, go through all the process, it's just like signing up for any other service. Once you've done that, come back here and enter your EMU Movies username and password. I'm going to do that now. Alright, once you've entered it, I probably blurred mine if you're watching this, but once you've entered your stuff, click test just to make sure it works. 
Successfully logged into EMU Movies is what you want to see. Once you see that, click OK. Now, would you like to download media from e Yes, of course you would like to download media. If you don't, um, I guess you can just select none and move on. I always just do this though. Uh, it pulls pretty good information. Would you like to specify any custom options? I personally don't mess with any of this stuff, so I'm just gonna leave it alone and click next. If you wanna read through some of these and kinda play with them, go for it, but I don't recommend it if you're new. How would you like to import your MAME games? Well, this is another one that I don't mess with. I just click next. If you wanna dive into that, go for it. So this page is gonna sit here for a little while while it looks through your games. In my case, I don't have a ton of games in here. I've got uh, just these games right here. This is gonna be kinda like a shooter setup that I'm running right now. And these are the only games that I've gotten to work so far, so that's good for me. It found the ones I wanted. If everything looks good to you, click finish. Now down here, it's going to be searching and downloading all the stuff from EMU Movies, all the game's database information, so just let it do its thing. Depending on how large your uh, actual ROMs folder is, it could take a really long time or it could just take a few minutes. Either way, go get a drink, go wander around, go do something. I wouldn't recommend messing with anything while it does it. You can see the progress right here. It's importing Area 51 information. Just let it do its thing, and when it's done, we'll pick it back up on the other side. Eleven games were imported successfully. Uh, just click OK to clear that out. And here you can look through and see what information it did grab. Um, oh, going the wrong way there. So I'm pretty certain it didn't actually find all of my games, but that's something we'll worry about a little bit later. Uh, police trainer is there. I thought I had Time Crisis 2. So now you think, this is great. This is how it's supposed to look. Well, of course, this isn't how it's supposed to look. You're supposed to have that beautiful big box look. Now the problem is you're on the free version, as you can see here. So click that free version deal. It's going to tell you LaunchBox Premium is available for purchase and provides extra customization features, blah, 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 all that. Basically what it's saying is if you want big box, if you want it to look pretty, you're going to need to click this link, go to their website, decide which plan is best for you. Good news is they hate DRM, just like everybody else, cut and paste installation, blah, blah. Here's where it comes down to it. Uh, oh, the price is actually a little bit cheaper than I remember. Uh, I thought it was $40. I chose the regular license. This means I can get LaunchBox Premium and Big Box forever. I'm going to own that, I guess, until they stop making it or until maybe I'm dead. I don't know which one comes first. Now, the only downside here is you will be required to renew the license for $15 in order to access new features after one year. I personally don't care. I don't plan to use my launch box, big box setup very much other than just to basically launch the games and get out of it. I don't care about the new features. I don't customize that much personally. If you're somebody who wants to just have that peace of mind, you know you have forever updates, you're gonna be set until the end of time, go ahead and select the $75 option. I went with the $30 one just because, like I said, I just needed to launch my games. Choose which one you'd like. You're gonna pay them. You're gonna get an email that's gonna have an XML file that you're going to then go back into here and you're going to register a new license file. You click browse, you go find your license file. It is on the local disk. I just have it sitting right there. I'm going to show it where it is. Again, I need to blur all of this stuff, so you're probably not going to see much of this, but basically my license was accepted. We're good to go. You can go ahead and close launch box. Now you go over to the big boy, the big box, and double click that and let it launch up. There you go, you should see this big box pop up right here. If your computer is a little bit slower, it might take a little bit of time to actually launch. Either way, you're probably gonna sit on this screen for just a little bit. And there we go, so we have a very generic looking main screen here. But this is what it's essentially gonna look like. You can go in and customize it a lot more than this. I guess it didn't pull much information for poor lethal enforcers too or maximum force. Um, I may be able to work on that later, um, but essentially this will get you up and running if you want to fart around with some of the actual settings a little bit more later, that's up to you.
So if you're like me, you're not going to want to see this screen. All I have is MAME. There's no reason for this screen. You shouldn't have to click an extra enter button or hit a button to get into all of these just to launch your game. I also don't like seeing this. Say I want to play Area 51. I select Area 51. It goes to this screen. I don't need a star rating. I definitely don't want people to be able to open the folder or have all these issues while they're trying to launch the game. It's just an extra screen that's in the way. So let's go hit escape, 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 and go down to, first let's go to options. Options, then we'll go over to here. Let's start, we're gonna make it skip the uh, platforms view. You wanna change default startup view to all games. Trying to get there, just keep hitting it till you're there. And there you go, now hit escape. Now let's go up to general. Press enter, scroll down, and go ahead and skip details screen. That's going to skip that screen that's in between you and launching the game. Let's go ahead and actually close this first, uh, just to make sure everything's saved. Exit, and relaunch it. As you can see now, it's launched straight into MAME, so you don't have to worry about hitting enter to get past that screen that shows a million MAME wheels. Now, if you want to launch a game, Go ahead and press enter on it. It's going to skip that details screen and it's going to go straight into launching main, which is great. You're good to go. Go ahead and escape from the game just to make sure it all works. And once you're out of the game, it goes right back to the main screen. No more stuff in between you and playing. I personally like this a lot better. I don't need a lot of stuff in the way, especially if you've got people coming over to play your MAME cabinet. The last thing you want them doing is being confused or having trouble launching games, or they may accidentally exit the entire program and end up on the desktop. Now, the way I fix that is I do not map a single button to the escape button. That is only going to be for my keyboard and mouse, which are hidden or not hooked up at all while the arcade's running. All that aside, you can set it up how you'd like. There's plenty of themes here you can actually download directly through the app. It'll download them, you can install them, it's very simple. I personally don't mess with this very much, so hopefully this was helpful to you. If it was, please give me a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber already, please consider subscribing. And leave me a comment down below if you're having trouble, maybe I'll help you out. I'm not 100% sure I can help you. Uh, I'm not a genius at this, I just basically got it running in the most basic way possible as you saw. So hopefully it was helpful to get that going, but if you're having some trouble, leave me a comment, I'll try to help. Hopefully this worked, if it worked for you, please leave me a comment telling me it did work, I'd love to hear it. Thanks so much for watching guys, I'll see you on the next video.